Hi, it's Martin here from Northern Beaches Websites. In this video, I want to show you through Custom Admin Interface Pro, the most extensive and advanced method to customize the admin interface of WordPress. First, I'll show you how to install and activate the plugin, then I'll walk through each module the plugin has to offer. First, let's install the plugin. Go to your plugins page, go to add new, go to upload plugin, then select the file from your local computer. And then click install now. Once the plugin is installed, activate the plugin. Now you'll notice in the main WordPress menu, a new menu item called custom admin interface pro. Let's click on this and explore the general options tab. First, enter your purchase email and order ID. You can also select a custom favicon um, for your website. You can also choose whether you want to include that in the front end of WordPress as well. You can also enter custom footer text, which displays at the bottom of WordPress here. You can also insert dynamic shortcodes into your message. Then just below, there are a range of checkboxes. You can remove the WordPress version number from the footer, remove the admin toolbar from the front end for all users, disable automatic WordPress updates, disable plugin updates, disable the Gutenberg editor, and enable duplicate post, which enables you to duplicate posts and pages in WordPress with ease. Once you're done, press the Save Settings button. Now, let's update the color scheme used in WordPress. We can do this by clicking on the Admin Color Scheme link in the main menu. You can now select individual colors to make up your color scheme. It's important that you select all four colors and also an SVG icon color. You can also set an admin link and button color and also a hover color. You can also choose to force the custom color scheme on all users in WordPress. Once you're done, click the Save Settings button. You can also modify the WordPress login page. To do this, let's click in Login Page. First, you can set a login screen background color or you can also set a background image. You can choose the position and also the size and whether you want the background image to repeat. You can also set the login screen text color. You can give the login page a custom logo instead of the default WordPress logo. You can also set a login logo URL and you can also add custom CSS and JavaScript and jQuery to the WordPress login area. Once you're done, click the Save Settings button. There may be times where you want to have a maintenance page on your website so that only logged in users can view your website and guests see a maintenance page instead. To set up the maintenance page, click on Maintenance Page in the main menu. Firstly, you can enable maintenance mode by clicking on the checkbox at the top. You can set a custom logo, background color, a custom background image, and you can also set the position, size, and repeat of the background image, and you can add custom content to the maintenance page here using the editor, which you can edit the text in visual or text mode. You can also set an end date for the maintenance mode as well. Once you're done, click the Save Settings button. One of the most sought after features of Custom Admin Interface Pro is the ability to edit the main menu of WordPress. To do that, let's click on Admin Menus. First, you'll be taken to an Admin Menus page which lists all the current menus in WordPress. At the moment, we don't have any, so let's just create our first one. First, we need to give a menu a title. Let's make this menu just for editors. And we're going to implement this for no one except the role editors. You can change this to everyone or no one, and you can select multiple users or roles. You can also quickly do a filter search at the top here. Now below, we'll have a visual representation of the menu. You can easily add new menu items by clicking on the Add Menu Item button and clicking the Edit button to give it a new title. And you can change the link. And you can also add additional classes to the menu and also a permission to view that particular menu item. Let's click Confirm. By clicking on the icon link here, you can set a custom icon for the menu item as well. By using the drag and drop editor, 
you can move the menu item into position. You can also delete or edit it or hide it anytime by clicking these three links here. Delete, edit, or hide and show. You can also modify any other menu items in your WordPress menu. You can also add a separator, which is a little divider that goes in between menu items to create a little bit of space. If I go back to the main admin menus page, I can view all the menus that I've created them and edit them at any time, or I can even deactivate it by setting it as a draft. You may also wish to display notices on the back end of WordPress for particular users. To do that, click on Admin Notices. You can now create a new notice, and you can give the notice a name. Let's call this Notice for Editors. And we can say, implement this for no one except editors. You can now create the content of your notice, and you can also insert dynamic shortcodes here to liven up your message. You can also set the color for the notice. You can also set an expiry date for the notice, and you can choose if you want to make the notice dismissible or not. Once you're done, click the publish button. You can also customize the admin toolbar of WordPress. This can be done in a very similar fashion as a WordPress admin menu is edited. To do this, click on the main menu and click on admin toolbars. Let's create a new toolbar. Here we get a visual representation of the toolbar. We can also set how this toolbar is displayed to particular users or groups. Let's call this toolbar for editors. And we can implement this for no one except editors. Now we can edit existing items or we can hide and show items. We can also add in new toolbar items by clicking the Add Toolbar Item button. And we can drag and drop the toolbar item into position. You can give the toolbar item a custom link as well. Once you're done, click the Publish button. You can also add custom code to the WordPress admin area. To do this, click on Custom Admin Codes. Let's click Add New. You can apply the custom code to particular users or roles. Let's call this Custom Code for Editors. And let's select the implement this for no one except the role editor. You can apply custom CSS or JavaScript jQuery below. Once you're done, click the Publish button. You can also add custom dashboard widgets. To do that, click on Dashboard Widgets, and then click Add New. You can give the widget a title. Let's call it Test. And we can choose how the widget gets applied to different users or roles. Let's do Everyone, with no exceptions. We can give the widget a title. Let's call this Test Widget. You can then also insert the main body of the widget. You can also insert dynamic shortcodes to provide a custom message for the particular user. Once you're done, click the Publish button. You can also add custom code to the front end of WordPress. To do that, click Custom Front End Codes. Then click Add New. You can now give the custom code a title. And we can also choose how the custom code gets applied to particular user roles. We can do no one except editors if we want, and we can also add a user. You can then add custom CSS or JavaScript or jQuery. Once you're done, click the publish button. You can also hide meta boxes throughout the WordPress interface. To do that, click on hide meta boxes, then click add new. We can give this meta box setting a title. Let's just call it test. We can also choose who we want to apply these custom settings to. That can be either users or roles. Let's select everyone for now. Now below, you'll see a name of the different meta box items and also on which page it's being displayed. So we can see the activity, which is displayed on the main dashboard page, or we can see categories on the main post page. By clicking the little eye icon here, 
we can choose whether we want to hide that particular item. Or we can select all or deselect all quickly here at the top. Once you're done, click the publish button. You can also hide plugins from displaying in the main plugins page. To do that, click on hide plugins. Then click add new. Similar to the meta boxes, we can give this a title. Let's call this test. And we can choose what users and roles we want this to apply to. Let's select everyone for now. Now you'll see a listing of all the different plugins. To hide a particular plugin, just click the little eye icon on the right hand side. You can also quickly select all or deselect all here. Once you're done, click the publish button. You can also hide sidebars which display in your widget area. To do that, click on hide sidebars in the main menu. Click on add new. We can give this an identification title. Let's just call this test. And we're going to implement this for everyone. Here you'll see a list of your different sidebars that are provided by your theme or other custom plugins. Simply click on the eye icon to hide or display a particular sidebar. Or you can select all or deselect all here. Once you're done, click the publish button. You may also wish to hide users from the user listing. To do that, click on hide users. As usual, give this an identification. And then we can choose whether we want to implement this particular users or roles. Let's apply this to everyone. You'll see below a listing of all users and their particular role. We can simply hide the user by clicking on the hide icon here. And we can quickly select all or deselect all by clicking these buttons here. Once you're done, click the publish button. In Custom Admin Interface Pro, we also give the ability to manage the settings easily. Click on Manage Settings from the main menu. You can easily export, import or delete settings with ease. To export all settings, click on Select All and then click either Copy Settings, which will copy the settings to your clipboard, or click Export Settings to download to a particular file. You can then use that code on a new site and click and paste it into this area here or upload a file here and click Import Settings. You can also delete settings from particular modules here. You can also click the Select All or Deselect All button to quickly select what settings you would like to delete. Throughout the plugin, revisions are kept for updates made to particular modules. You can choose to disable these post revisions by clicking on this checkbox here. You can also set a minimum permission for particular users and roles to be able to manage the settings of the plugin. We recommend using the default manage options, however you may want to change that to something else. Once you're done, click the save settings button.